words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate. Nobody is paying attention. Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be on technology, quantum computing, D-Wave, Maxwell's equations, and synthetic superintelligence and the transmutation of humankind. First, I need to explain who is behind artificial intelligence. Has extraterrestrial origins. Prominent and controlling group of ETs. ET human hybrids, the administrators. These people are often as human as you and I, but could be ET hybrids as well. The emissaries have managed to misinform and disinform us on a number of different subjects. When we reach this state, we become quite different to manipulate. This shows how rapidly the AI movement has progressed over a short time period. It will be obvious even for the skeptic that the first part of the machine kingdom is already here. So D-Wave builds quantum computers. The way that they work, if you know this, how this works, is one of the interpretations is that you tap into these parallel universes. And of course, the quantum key to the abyss factors into it. So what you've heard about AI is not what we mean by AI. What we mean by AI is a software system that can do literally anything that a human can do. And obviously, computers are better at things than people in lots of different ways. Fermilab, CERN, looks for visitors from another dimension. This video now, predictive programming, sail, and what does it mean? Aliens AI. Sail. Sail. Stanford Artificial Intelligence Language. Artificial Intelligence. Sail and DARPA, quantum computing, and D-Wave. Chip, GPS, and the next campaign for AI. We need to really understand all the chaos to control us so that we don't understand all the projects that are going on and have been going on. This video is just to not only expose these things, but to take a, a breath and realize how much chaos is keeping us from understanding what is going on with technology. And what can we do about it? Well, we can regulate it. Sail point predictive identity, DARPA's chip. This video has a lot of information in it. I really hope you pay attention and that you share it. Please stay to the end. All of this connects together and I really hope that you enjoy this. the various unseen solar and planetary entities. It is time we investigated the nature of those unseen beings we have referred to, the dimension on which they dwell. The entities can be divided into what they say, two main types, solar and planetary. The invisible dimension, invisible to the human eye, we should describe the plane they dwell on. Quantum physics predicts that there are 11 dimensions, including the three that we experience, plus time. Therefore, there are seven more dimensions that are undetectable to a normal human senses. The one that has come to be known by some metaphysicists as the fifth dimension. It vibrates at a higher frequency than our dimension, and it should be noted the laws in operation there differ to ours. 
mainly because Einstein, beloved speed limit, the speed of light, only applies to our four-dimensional space-time. Scientists conjectured back in the 1960s that there were particles called tachons that could travel faster than the speed of light. In fact, if you read and believe the full Big Bang Theory, it states that at some time during the creation of the universe, particles did indeed travel faster than light. Then in September 2014, the scientists at CERN in Switzerland announced that the ghostly subatomic particles called neutrinos had broken the luminal speed limit. They seem to get it now that neutrinos tunnel through the extra dimensions, reducing the distance they have to travel to get from one point to another. And we know that light can behave as either a particle or a wave. Scientists at Harvard MIT that photons can be bound to form molecules, a state of matter that we had not previously understood. Okay, now what's the connection to the neutrinos, to CERN, to now ITER in southern France, and interdimensional beings and AI technology? The second proto-dune detector at CERN saw its first particle tracks in August. Scientists working at CERN have started tests of a prototype for a new neutrino detector using novel and very promising technology called dual phase. This will be in the United States, the size of a three-story house, 800 tons of argon and six meters long. The Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, Dune. Research facility will observe neutrinos produced at Fermilab. It will fire an intense beam of trillions of neutrinos from a production facility at Fermilab. In collaboration with CERN, the prototype detector in July of 2017 started its first of the two prototypes. Interesting fact that in September 2011, 9-11, CERN attracted media attention when the OPERA collaboration reported the detection of faster-than-light neutrinos. The connection to Maxwell's equations and his thought project with his demon theory connects all of this. Maxwell's demon embodied by a delayed feedback force acting on a levitated microparticle. They confirmed new fundamental limits that time delay imposes on the demon's actions, which are not covered by the standard laws of thermodynamics. The team of scientists published their new study in the journal Nature Communications. A Maxwell demon is a hypothetical intelligent being capable of detecting and reacting to the motion of individual molecules. In his thought experiment, James Clerk Maxwell imagined a demon that controls a small door connecting two chambers of gas molecules by letting pass only the fast, hot molecules in one chamber. The demon separates cold from hot molecules, which now brings us back to Maxwell's demon. Scientists use a microparticle which was optically levitated by laser light. So what does this have to do with aliens? So uh, Sam Harris, who I quite admire, is a very interesting guy, um, was reciting this parable at a TED talk that he was giving, and it goes something like this. So I am, uh, say I'm the president of the United States. So I received this message from the heavens so my microwave dish, my SETI dish, finally captures something. And what it says is, like, when you do this, beware. Because you think, 
just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram, and you're going to have your holy water out, and you're going to wave it at the thing, and by God, it's going to do exactly what you say, and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. These things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. So this transition is really, really massively important for our entire species to navigate. And going back to that thing that Sam Harris was saying, nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background while people bicker about politics, underneath it all is this rising tsunami that if we're not careful is going to wipe us all out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video that I have made. I try to make it as creative as possible while bringing to you information on the neutrinos, the Dune Project, CERN, and quantum computing, Maxwell's equations, and his Demon Thought Project, and D-Wave.